Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Kugoy of Krishnakanda Handy State of University and in this video I shall be taking up Unit 12 Remedial Grammar where we shall be discussing glossary from lexical verbs to word. The course is Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. Starting with the table of contents where we shall be discussing the learning objectives followed by introduction, glossary, lexical verb to word, let us sum up, questions to check your progress and the references. Let's start with the learning objectives. After going through this final video, the learner will be able to define various grammatical terms from the provided glossary with relevant examples and also improve their knowledge of grammar and grammatical terms. Glossary from lexical verb to word. Lexical verb, the term is used to refer to full verbs. There are verbs that can be used as the only verb in a sentence. For example, I work in a school. The primary auxiliaries be, have, do can also be used as lexical verbs. Here are a few examples. A. She is a teacher. B. She has a car. C. She does her work properly. Lexical verb. Lexical word is a term used to refer to content word that contrasts with grammatical word or function word. Nouns, verbs, adjectives and verbs are word classes belonging to this category of words. Modal, also called modal verbs. Modals are a type of auxiliary verbs that contrast with the primary auxiliaries like be, have and do. The following are the models in English. Can, could, shall, should, may, might, must, will, would, dare, used to, etc. Predeterminer. It is an element that occurs before a determiner in a noun phrase. The predeterminers include half of, some of, all of, each of, etc. For example, half of the students in the class, some of the students, most of the countries, etc. Preposition. It is a word class in English referring to a closed set of items. For example, of, in, with, by, at, to, for, on, from, etc. Prepositions are used with nouns, pronouns and gerunds to link them grammatically to other words. Prepositional phrase. A preposition normally precedes noun phrases or single nouns or pronouns to form a single constituent structure. The resulting prepositional phrase can thus be described in terms of distribution. For example, their use following a noun as in the man in the corner. Subordinate clause. I is a type of clause that is the constituent of a complex sentence and contrasts with the principal clause in the sentence structure. A subordinate clause can be a noun clause an adjective clause or an adverbial clause. Syntax. It is a study of sentences and their structure. Therefore, English syntax is the study of sentences and the structures in the English language in terms of phrases, clauses and sentences. These different kinds of units, larger than the words, are different kinds of syntactic constituents. They are called syntactic constituents because they combine with each other as though they were single indivisible units. Verbs of perception. There are a group of verbs that are normally incompatible with the progressive aspect of verbs. Word. In grammar, the word is considered to be the smallest unit of a sentence. We say that a sentence is made of words, though at times a single word can be a sentence, as in come. There are different classes of word called word classes. They are also called parts of speech. The following are the nine word classes in English. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection and determiner. With this we come to the end of this video. Let us quickly sum up the unit. In this unit we were introduced to a glossary of the grammar of English. We have learned that the grammatical concepts need to be related to the structure of sentences. Further, grammatical competence should lead to communicative competence. The general idea is that we do not learn grammar for its own sake, but to sharpen our sensitivity to language that would enable us to use the language in real life situations. Therefore, each of the grammatical concepts to which we have been introduced should be seen in the larger context of language use. 
This brings us to questions to check your progress, starting with question number one. What are lexical verbs? Question number two, define the terms preposition and prepositional phrase. Question number three, state the function of prepositions in grammar. Question number four, what is syntax? Question number five, define the grammatical meaning of word and word classes. I hope you'd also refer to the BA English graduate self-learning material on the SLM or foundation course in English, block two, unit 12, semester one. This will provide you with a better idea of this particular unit that we have discussed on remedial grammar. Thank you, dear learners.